Hello everybody and welcome to the second tutorial on the morphological segmentation plugin. This time I will show you how to use the plugin to segment a 3D image. In this case we have a confocal image of an Arabidopsis embryo where the membranes between the cells have been highlighted using a fluorescence marker. So let's call the plugin again just by clicking on plugins, morphology, segmentation, morphological segmentation. The same way as in the 2D image we get the input image embedded into the graphical user interface and we can go back and forth between the different slices. In this case we don't need to use the object image type because we already have an, a border image. We have our uh, cells separated with um, brighter values because we use a fluorescence marker when we created the image. So let's see how it looks if we just keep the default parameters as they are. We click on run. Now everything should take a little bit longer because we are analyzing many more voxels and you see how the button has changed to stop because in any moment it, if it's taking too long we can click on a stop and it will kill the whole process. In this case we obtain what well, it looks a reasonable result the beginning. You see how the objects have been separated. Oh, but here some of the cells have been merged together and they shouldn't. Maybe it's better if I change the color. Yeah, here it's more visible. Okay, this is not what we wanted. So we, as I said in the previous um, tutorial, if we decrease the tolerance value, we will probably have more objects than uh, using this tolerance value here. So we can just decrease it, so use something like five and see how it looks after running again the whole pipeline. It should take a little bit longer because now we have more minima to start the water set segmentation from, but still it's a reasonable time. You see how now the results looks much better. Seems, seems like all the cells have been properly segmented. Let's see how it looks if we use the segmentation without dams. See again how the run button has turned into stop button that I can use anytime to stop the process. And then in a few seconds, we get the final result. See, we get different colors per cell. In the end, if we want to merge some of these labels together, we can do it again by using the point ray selection tool within the same slice or between the slices. Let's say I'm going to merge this blue label here. I keep the shift uh, key hold and then I go to a different slice and click there on the green label and merge the label together see now how these two labels have been merged into a single label. It's maybe easier if I show you the catchment buttons. There you go. Okay, thank you very much for your attention.